Hello traders, Mark Chapman here and today we're going to take a look at the New Zealand Swiss Sapphire chart. Uh, one of the uh, chaps uh, made a comment on uh, the YouTube channel if I could uh, take a look at this for them so that's what I'm doing for uh, Lloyd today. Uh, thanks for your comment Lloyd and uh, if anyone else wants to do uh, something similar ask me to take a look at a particular uh, chart I'm more than happy to do that. Not going into like loads of different subjects because I'd rather just stay on uh, topic and teach you guys uh, how to um, you know understand the markets in the way that we analyze and trade them so uh, if you've got a chart you want me to take a look at stick it in the comment and I'll uh, I'll do my best to uh, to do the analysis for you and get that video made ASAP so here we have a level um, it's been a resistance and then it becomes support and then we've got resistance, resistance, a lot of times in there, obviously I won't draw them all out. Uh, interest in this area, I'll come back to this in a moment, and then we've had it again in here. Now then, what this type of turn is referred to as, it's not just usually described as, let's just say, a level of resistance like that. Butchered it, didn't get close enough for my line. <laughs> Oh, get there eventually. There we go. It's not just a level of resistance that pivots and uh, turns away from price. What you actually have is price going up to a level and then it'll base and then it'll drop. And that is referred to as a supply area, right? Where supply outstrips uh, demand and uh, your friendly supply demand traders would consider that a rally base drop. Now then, why that's important to this particular um, analysis is because usually what happens is is the turn will occur usually at the uh, beginning of that supply area so you see that so didn't really go far into the level certainly didn't go to the top whereas in a, a, a an area where there's resistance where price pivots then obviously uh, people will trade it as close to that level as possible whereas in a supply demand area they'll tend to go in a little earlier and it'll turn a little earlier now then why that's important is because from here if you were uh, taking this supply area and going short in here, where are you going to place your stop? Well, you're probably not going to place it above this pivot. And if you did, that would be stupid because, you know, you're going to get uh, potentially bumped out of the trade for no reason, right? You ch get you choking off the potential uh, when the trade might still be active. Um, so you're most likely going to go above the actual supply stroke support resistance zone um, it's uh, doing uh, both uh, both things uh, in this example um, you go above that level okay so you're going to place your stops there now then if you look at the move itself so here's your stops and stops equal money and if you look at the uh, the move itself it didn't really succeed did it if you consider uh, this move went all the way across this range this is an area off to the left um, it, it didn't do it. It did work to a, to a degree, or rather, it you know it went at a certain uh, distance, but it certainly didn't work. Right? It didn't go. It didn't uh, make it across that range. Like it, it, that would be a, a reasonable target, even if you were just targeting halfway across it. It, uh, it certainly didn't manage that. So you've got the uh, sellers at the level, placing their stops at the level. And the reason why I'm saying that uh, these traders are still in this, oh, actually it went a bit further, forgive me, um, is that is that there's a good chance those traders didn't exit the position. And the, the, what you'll have had in here is several retracement traders, right, on pullbacks and again in this lower version of that swing, right, and then again, but these ones got caught, right traders got caught in here and here these traders would be also to a degree anywhere likely to place the stops above this area especially if you got in, in around here the lower down ones perhaps not perhaps they were just going at the swing points uh, and they've been stopped out price comes back to the level and sells off again now again this is perfect because there's going to be more traders selling at that level and where they're going to place the stops probably just above that structure right again why would you place it here if you were selling in here when you've got this big uh, bigger level off to the left it would be dumb to do it i mean people will do it but the the, the vast majority of people would place it further up um 
so what what we're having because because these moves didn't really work out and granted some will have got stopped out as it retraced but some won't what what that's doing is the first touch back in you've got stops those sellers are probably still in it because it didn't go across the range as it as, as would be a reasonable target so they'll hold on to the trade as price goes comes back and they'll hope it it, it, uh, it uh, uh, turns again you've got breakout traders break trading the breakout of these swings you've got retracement traders again there's a chance that they're placing their stops above that structure right above the supply zone and now you've got price come back into the level and again more stops so this is a really good target if there was to be a manipulation because there's definitely uh, some liquid uh, residing up there and that liquid will allow um, a, a big transaction to occur seamlessly right uh, without the uh, the cost of slippage so we'll go forward see what it did Hang on. Another pen. right so it breaks up now Those stops are now being triggered, right? As price breaks up through the level, people are being stopped out. As they're being stopped out, that allows something big to start selling in the face of that buying. Because if you're sold in here, and if you're sold in here, and obviously all the other little areas that I talked about, then you're going to place your stop above there. If you're a seller, you must buy to exit. So those those that forced liquidation event as price goes up through those stops is triggering those buy orders, allowing something to sell in the face of it. So price pulls back, as you'd imagine, and you get that break pull back. I'm just going to clean that up a little bit. So you get the break pull back in here, right? That's what you'd expect to see. You'd expect to see a bounce. It does go up drawing in more retracement traders breaks that high drawing in breakout traders bit of a retracement in that wick again retracement traders and then pulls back bounces off the level again retracement traders so what this is this is doing in its in entirety sorry if you couldn't see that too well because of my uh, stupid drawing but you get the idea um what's happening is um People are being encouraged to go along, believing that the break pullback is uh, is in play. And what might happen, we don't know, but what might happen is that might just be a ruse to get those traders in and, and allow something to, to continue selling in the face of that willing buying. And then, boom, the manipulation occurs and uh, you would anticipate price uh, actually making it across that range under that condition. So... Um, what you want to look out for is that is obviously price to sell off and then some type of little pullback in this the underside of this level and then you can uh, uh, look to take the trade place your stop above the, the manipulation the reason why you would do that is because not all swing points are created equal right this swing point is not a manipulation therefore it's it's not um, it's not a safe swing point to place a stop whereas this is a very safe swing point if you're going to place a stop because if, if this is right if this plays out as we've described um, then something large uh, you know just saying one entity just keeps it simple but obviously it, it could be many um but something large has basically been selling um they're not going to come all the way back with the best will in the world you know and the greatest of respect for our poxy stop uh, our, our poxy orders right um they, they've already worked the level that the manipulation's been done the money that it cost to do that has been um uh, done the transaction's complete and uh down you go that doesn't mean that you know sometimes um you will be in a situation where price comes down you manage to get that entry and then uh, it actually goes higher and when people ask me why might that be the case well first of all it might it might go higher and then come back down because it hasn't the whatever was doing the the the, uh, the selling up there hasn't fulfilled all of the uh, all of the uh, the order uh, now in a condition like that usually you'll still you'll still make uh, you'll still make uh, money in the trade however if it was just to just sort of fly higher um, and you know you sat there thinking well hang on a minute Mark said that was a manipulation why have I been stopped out well because sometimes the supply demand equation will it will change and things that can do that is like a you know a, a really um, 
bad geopolitical event or a, a news event on the calendar that you know really missed expectations or was super positive um, beyond forecast and these things can and do um, screw around with uh, the supply and demand equation so if you're ever wondering you know if you take a manipulation and then you get stopped out just don't, you know don't just blame the uh, blame the uh, the idea realize that the potential um, realize for the potential for the um, for the, the supply and demand equation to adjust and usually um, even if a manipulation is attempted to, to occur uh, that can be uh, that can be foiled uh, by a big change in um, supply and demand based based off of some type of news event. And you got to remember the news the news stuff is is largely algorithm based, and you know these things are making decisions uh, in a blink of an eye. We we just can't compete with them, and they are here. They're real. It's a real thing. So it's just one of those things we've got to uh, compete with. But yeah, uh, I hope you found that helpful. If you'd like to learn more, click on the link below. And I'll see you on the inside.